Konnichiwa, fellow Armchair General Samas. This is Gamer1745 here with my continuing playthrough of Hearts of Iron 4 with Black Ice. Okay, we are getting ready to crush Red China. The Red Chinese are going to go down this episode if I can achieve that. They're the only Chinese forces in the game. Romania seeds Bessarabia, Bessarabia to the Soviet Union. Okay, and again, let's take a quick look over at how Europe is doing. Being it is currently folding in a historical manner, which at this point we sort of want it to. Um, Germany is at war with the Allies. Those are the traditional ones. They add in sort of. Uh, I'm not terribly fond of them, but the idea that these are um, countries. They sort of kind of were. Syria and Lebanon were protectorates. Um, this they did get right in that is part of France. Um, and it was part of France then. Um, not a colony, this was metropolitan France. So. So all those are at war with Germany. But we peace-loving Japanese. Soviet Union claims Bessarabia. Yeah, no, that's a nice picture there. Marshal Antonescu. Behind the Romanian flag. Just waiting for these guys to get in place. Be able to blitz into... If you notice, well, I've got a pretty biggish army here. These are all going to, these I presume will lose fairly quickly. I'll try to hold out on with some of these fortified provinces here, but along the river. So um, they'll be much better defended. Obviously, the, um, the communist Chinese did not have anything like these levels of fortifications. Actually, it was the, um, the nationalists who were often using blockhouse defenses if I remember correctly but um, are we even going to get Beijing into the war maybe not so well, let's we'll call allies War. Yeah, we know we want to conquer focus and yeah. coming in from Chinese territory, yes. Oh, oh, okay. You attack. You attack. You attack. You attack. You know, these may not be the most brilliant moves. Like I said, the fortifications and such. There. Just put that. Right. Soviet Republic of China joined the common turn. Does that mean we're at war with with um Wait too long. Oh, 
this isn't a good option here. Um, Arno is asking about puppeting. Well, what you do is you get um, some of their resource. Well, you have to um, trade for their resources. Um, ask about puppeting and resources here. Um, like Manchuko, for um, one factory, we're getting 78 steel. So we're basically plundering their... Stuff. So we get their resources at a massive discount, but we don't just get their resources. So um, it's helpful, but it's not. This is what di disrailed my last playthrough with um, this this game here um, that Red China was able to get in the common turn I don't know if you know yes um, hello Opie's Revenge Good to see you. Um, you're absolutely right. Depending on the level of puppet they are. And Black Ice does it differently than Standard Hoi 4. But they're using the mechanics and setting different le different levels. So um, that does vary absolutely. So um, historically... Uh, Stalin, and hence the um, Soviet Republic. How did they get that? Oh, I don't know. Um, what is? But um, historically, the um, this the Soviet upper levels believed Chiang Kai-shek would be victorious against the Maoist rebels. So he he supported Chiang Kai-shek, particularly in, his, in the fight against um, Japan, but also against the communists here. Because at Stalin's core, it was a power game. It wasn't everything for the revolution. He definitely was a communist. He definitely supported the, the international revolution. But he was also very pragmatic. So he thought he would get a good ally in Chiang Kai-shek. Now the question comes down to is the Soviet Union ready to um, go to war with Japan at this moment? Historically, if Chiang Kai, or if China is, or if Japan is controlling China through the puppet here, I would argue no. So what we're going to do is, is because as you remember, I made a nice little save. We're going to go load game. I'm going to leave. The. Um, communist Chinese alone for now. Because I'm not prepared, ready, wanting to go to war with the Soviet Union. Um, when I... Started the war, they weren't allied with the Soviet Union. So... How did they end up with that? I don't know. But, um... So we're not going to do this. Let's grab this army here. Select all. Get them out from 
that are starving out there. Let's grab this army here. Well, I don't. It's not big, but can be useful. Coming down in this direction. Now we can see some of these borders are uncrossable, but others here we'll be able to cross with difficulty. So that will be a useful implementation. Okay, so we're going to leave this one alone. Remedius sees. Yes, we had that last time, of course. Yes, that's the picture that should be used for the other one as well. There's a generic one. Okay, well this changes our plans a bit. We don't have enough oil, but only by one. And I think we also need to get rid of a bunch of these divisions that I did last time. But let's boy all of those. Cancel this. No, uh, yeah. Okay, that will leave these other divisions in production. In training, I should say. Okay. These guys are very weak, meant for occupational duty. And for that, they're alright. So, let's turn them over here. So now we're back to the build-up game. Gonna occupy the forts with them. They're not the best defensive units, but oh well. I'll build some more of those for some of the islands coming up soon. This will just be basically cheap in manpower, in resources, for the port. Occupational stuff. Ah, you all the way down to here. Okay, Mitsui Artillery go. With all of these guys, you guys can come in. Oh no, we want you to come this way. And we need to select another national focus. Yeah, I know, Darthy, if you want me to do battleships, but Carriers are what really rules the seas at this time. Um, so we're going to do carrier models. 35 days. That'll go quick. Get 
Finland rejects Soviet demands. Okay, we can also improve our government. Now, the final currently open slot, at least. Capital ship. Fleet Admiral Combined Fleet, Heavy Air Navy Organization, Naval Strike. Yeah, I think that sort of fits with what we're looking at doing. Hello, Crestpot. Good to see you. size large now. We're good. Okay, they're still not aligned with anybody. But I guess they get to once we declare war on them. Yeah, gotta build a lot to get enough equipment. We're having trouble with that. Starting to get ahead on some of these Text, but or some of these equipment stuff, but transport vehicles we need more. Okay, disperse fighting. We need to do those get good air tactics. Yes, air superiority. That would be very good for our naval war against the U.S. That's going to be the big challenge. Towards that end, we're building lots of ships. Now, how are we doing? Okay. Our manufacturers for the post-war period. What I'm thinking of doing is, is waiting until the Germans are at war with the Soviets and then maybe declaring war against Red China. I want to really badly, but well, it should be going via rail, but whatever. Take care of your focus, great. Okay, if we do the southern expansion, we'll gain focus against the United Kingdom and the Netherlands. And then we can demand Indochina. 
Um, Paris is not controlled by France, of course. So, um, but that isn't yet. That's uh, to happen, if you will. Um, yeah, let's expand the Osaka person. And we now have. Oh well, we need to update these, don't we? Okay, yes, better artillery. Anything else that's out of date currently? Yes, these light bombers, that's right. Okay, um, before we start producing these light bombers, they're these. Let's look at create new variants, improving reliability for five points. Yeah, we'll, inc we'll improve reliability, and we might be able to do it more than one, but we'll just do it to one. Here in the model type one of them. And so let's see now. We have lots of transports, but we have no submarines in production. So let's put a submarine type in production. Um not these really big carrier aircraft carrier type things i think is what that is um notice they're significantly more expensive than other types maybe they're no nah, i don't know the japanese early war had um actually it goes back to the 20s i think it was the french who had a um submarine that um either take off or um fold up wings some of the early ones were actually take off the wings in sort of in a tube and then it would surface and had a um, um, catapult that like you would find on battleships um, to, to launch the aircraft and that was experimented with in the 20s and worked but it's not terribly effective um, let's get some of these guys going Japan had some models early pre-war, well, you know, pre pre the war with the U.S. or early as in their war with China, that were sort of scouting submarines that would carry one aircraft. And the best I can tell from looking at the drawings, you actually had to take the wings off of the aircraft to put it in the tube. During the war, they made the the I-400 and the I. Um, 401. They were going to make, I think, 12 of them, but they ended up just doing two. Those carried three aircraft, and the wings folded, and they were really sort of super high-tech, really cool things, but really expensive and took a long time to get built, and just wasn't really worth it terribly much. Or the cost of production... Let's speed this up a little bit. As we're cruising through 39, we're looking at war, but stagnation in Europe, it looks like. I'm just not ready for a single, because I don't want to get, because, like, why, why go down southern expansion um, national focus and then go to war with, um, the Soviet Union. I mean, that just to me is ridiculous. If you're going to go down the northern path, fine. Go down the northern path, and you go to war with the Soviet Union. Uh, that's cool. But you don't head south if you're going to you know, plan for south and then go north. So these provinces we got to, which we can't really see, there aren't really much of anything, but sort of expand or maging a bit. Okay, basic submarine factories. Good. Well, we're getting ready for 40, but there's not a whole lot of 40 text. Let's come over here.
description or so we're gonna wait till 19 these are 1940 so let's wait for that a little bit so um Yeah, let's do this. It may be just my German focus wanting good um, mechanized forces, but I do want that. As you know, I'm planning a war with America and looking at naval focuses, but part of that is aircraft, and so we need these for building both ground units and aircraft. So we're going to do that. We're going to increase heavy aircraft and light aircraft even more. There we go. Now for here, um, we're going to cut back on these guys and we're going to increase these, these. That we're increasing more naval bombers and more flying boats. Better control the seas. Support equipment. How are we going for support equipment? Uh, okay, we have a lot and we're producing more than we need. So let's reduce support equipment down uh, just by one at the moment. And how are we doing for trucks, infantry trucks now? That's these, we still need more of those. So we're gonna keep up production on those. Heavy machine guns, how are we doing with heavy machine guns? Okay, we've got a lot and we're overproducing, so let's reduce that down. I am, just to say, and as you know, I'm really loath to completely, and we probably don't need both of these. To completely stop production on some of these things. Sometimes you should, and I will, but sometimes I'm just well, very reluctant to. That will get us that, and let's And mortar teams, how are we doing with those? Mortar teams, lots and we're overproducing. So, we'll reduce this down. Of course, this is making us need more fuel. We don't have any heavy bombers in production, so let's have it. just get some heavy bombers in production. That'll be useful. And armored cars now. How are we doing with armored cars? Okay, again, more than we need and overproducing. Not that we can't always have more of things, but... We're going to produce more naval bombers. There we go, I think that's a good, rational reorganization of 
production. Now, uh, how are we doing with artillery truck production? Are we doing any of that? Thought we were. Infantry truck is that. Um, oh, down here. Okay, just one factory. Okay, we want to keep that going. Um, what's new with um, what? Um, the game. Um. Well, they keep working on black ice and improving it. They've been doing um, better air zones. As you can maybe see over here when we look at Europe with it, where I think they've been doing most of these, instead of having some big, huge, mega air zone, they've been doing that. Chopped up, you know, North Africa into more reasonable bite-sized pieces, so I really like that. And they're constantly tweaking things, um, you know, production costs and things like that. Oh, more. Um, there we go, get more flying boats into production. Basic munitions, factories, great. Let's look here. Okay, assault versus infiltration. The Japanese definitely used assault tactics and they definitely used infiltration tactics. Overwhelming fire. Assault breakthrough, central planning. Night assault tactics, okay. Yeah, we'll go down this path. Okay, Arno, sometime I'll play as France. Maybe even a special series next weekend. Hey Arno, um, I don't know if you noticed, but I sent you a whisper um, through Twitch um, about something. If we can talk about that some other time, not not now, um, we can reply via the the whisper or the whisper <laughs> mechanic on Twitch. Man, that's putting us two together. So. Radio detection, good. That gets us heading towards radar. Vehicle Factory 5. Lane detection, yeah. I think we're doing really well on steel. Yeah, super well. We need more oil. 
we need more aluminum. But can we trade for more oil? Looks like we can with the Soviet Union. We're already getting all that we can from Manchukuo. Oh, well, what about French Indochina? That'd be good. And aluminum. Who might we be able to trade with there? I know the Soviet Union, but French Indochina. Reorganized Republic. Well, let's do the Reorganized Republic. It covers what we currently need, and it helps out an ally. And this is one thing you sort of, why am I um, trading with French Indochina? Well, yes, it is a... Um, puppet of France it's at war with a pseudo ally of ours Germany but when we conquer it if they've used the factory resources that we're giving them the civil factory resource to build another something whether it's an air base or an anti-aircraft gun position or a another civil factory or used it to build a military factory or whatever they might have built with built with it we'll later theoretically either get it through a national focus or get it through conquest so that is some of my reasoning behind um, sometimes trading with them versus trading with the Soviet Union and so that's why we are trading for six because we only need six but with reorganized China because it'll help them out for them to be a little stronger now um, I think well let's look down here look here this tells us what factories we have submarine level one um, uniform level one tank level one heavy aircraft level two and ammo level two so those are probably more important aircraft and, and ammo those submarines are important too so but we so we will let's do heavy aircraft because I like those sea naval bombers and such so we'll get that we'll get ammo which is a critical thing and then we will also do a submarine Okay, HQ radius. Hmm, we're going to wait till 1940 because I think we're going to do some other research in aircraft and such. So let's wait, what is it, six, seven days? Well, at least we've cleaned up China pretty well. German interest in Scandinavia. German rhetoric has intensified towards the countries in recent week. Denmark and Norway. So they're getting ready to do that. Okay, well, they've already done that. Um, Designer Osaka Arsenal, or why not? So did the British fleet get trapped? Like mine did. Okay, now. 
Aircraft types. Give a bomber improvement. That's here. Okay. A6M1, often are mostly known as the Zero. We want this. Absolutely. Go for it. Get that. It is both a carrier and a land fighter. And the Osaka Arsenal, good. And Recon Company, so. Oh, well. You know? Let's cancel this. Um, we'll do, we'll move it to Naval Bomber. Yes, seven days. And we're gonna wait and we're gonna do this zero focus because it's only 35 days and it will reduce it in half give um, various things so this is a better that's only available after 40 so okay um, that's good we switched over to that any of these there are 40 techs that we want to start doing now no well, maybe, but under sea blockade. Let's get our carriers then. Good thing I caught that not waste the national focus especially for a short national focus okay now we want to come here continue to improve some of these guys depth charges or magnetic detection no we're going to go with depth charges Yeah, um, as in adding resources from vanilla, no, um, I, um, just these, these same resources, um, Black Ice, Opie's Revenge, I think I'm saying that right, uh, mostly right, um, they still use the basics, now of course they tweak, um, how many resources does it take to build an aircraft or a tank or whatever? Um, and also numbers of Romania joins the Axis, all right. Um, as well as, you know, the numbers of resources because of all the equipment type that's available and you need to have. So that gets tweaked, but not the um, what resources there are. Haven't added anything. Or deleted anything. Okay, excavation advanced, so that gets us more. Uh, yep. Okay, we're going to end the episode here, not the chat, um, just the episode. So I want to thank everyone for watching. I want to thank you for liking the videos. If you haven't already, please subscribe to me on YouTube or follow me over on Twitch so that you'll get notification when I'm live and you can um, chat with me while I make episodes and other things. And, of course, I love hearing from you, so please post questions, suggestions, ideas, um, comments, corrections. Love hearing from you. See you next time for more.